Is the price of XRP going to surge soon? If so, how will XRP do this? What are the recent lawsuit updates? To find out, keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 50 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hello guys, welcome to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Ripple's court battle with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has recently seen new developments that according to some observers, could foreshadow an impending resolution of this massively consequential case. The 17th of February marked the deadline for Ripple to unseal a series of 2012 documents whose contents will likely sway the opinions of both the court and the public toward either one side or another. In another plot twist, the court's decision to treat some of the SEC's documents as open to discovery could set a groundbreaking precedent for similar cases involving U.S. executive agencies. The SEC's lawsuit against Ripple Labs Inc., filed on the 23rd of December 2020, alleges that the company raised upward of $1.3 billion by selling the XRP token without registering it as a security, which the agency considers it to be. Ripple argues that XRP is a tool that facilitates international payments rather than an unregistered investment product and that the agency's jurisdiction does not extend to the token and its sales. This is not the first lawsuit against a digital asset issuer that the securities regulator has brought. However, most such cases end in a settlement instead of going to trial. In this scenario, individual crypto firms yield to the SEC's demands and pay penalties to be let go. The regulator's case never reaches the stage where a judge or a jury panel can scrutinize it. No precedent for similar cases in the future is set. Unlike many others, Ripple chose to go all the way and get into a legal fistfight. If the SEC scores a W, court precedent will reinforce the agency's claim for regulating much of the crypto market using tried and tested securities laws. If Ripple prevails, the need for a more nuanced regulatory regime tailored to various types of digital assets will become more evident than ever. The SEC's regulatory ambitions will suffer a major blow if the latter scenario plays out. Linkto, a private investment platform, is sold out of Ripple shares, said Nick Burifato, director of digital assets. Demand for Ripple Labs Inc. Equity has been notably high in recent weeks as developments in the XRP lawsuit could give Ripple the upper hand against the SEC. Ripple also showed optimism, having repurchased shares it issued after securing $200 million in a Series C funding round led by Tetragon, with participation from SBI Holdings and Route 66 Ventures. The fundraiser of late 2019 valued Ripple at $10 billion, but the company repurchased the shares at a $15 billion valuation, thus offering a 50% profit. The move also helped the firm to take back equity from Tetragon, who sued Ripple for $175 million after the SEC filed the infamous lawsuit. The SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit schedule is about to offer key reveals for the future of Ripple, XRP, and the cryptocurrency space. The deadline to unseal Ripple's memos publicly is the 17th of February 2022. The same day, the SEC will file its motion for partial reconsideration over Judge Sarah Netburn's DPP ruling, which will not be fully briefed until the 25th of February 2022. Ripple has one week to respond to that motion. On top of that, Ripple wants the SEC to hand over the notes from the meeting between Brad Garlinghouse and ex-SEC Commissioner Alad Roisman. The agency claims it didn't even know of its existence, but DPP protects it, according to Jeremy Hogan, a Hail Mary partner at Hogan and Hogan Paw. As to Ripple's memos, it could be said that the two exhibits failed to prove that and its executives were selling and marketing XRP as an investment contract within the SEC's jurisdiction. See Article 1 and Article 2 on the matter. Regarding the SEC's deliberative process privilege, the plaintiff is expected to drag the issue as much as possible, but the court is likely to side with Ripple on that. The concern is that the SEC could delay the production for months, but when it finally does, Ripple might uncover enough material to end the lawsuit quickly. See Article 3 and Article 4 on the matter. The most recent play by Ripple was the motion to compel the production of the Estabrook notes regarding a 2018 meeting between Brad Garlinghouse and former SEC Commissioner Roisman. The notes, which are unlikely to be protected by DPP, may be helpful to the fair notice argument as Roisman is known to be a critic of the SEC's enforcement practice in the blockchain space. See Article 5 on the matter. Also, regarding the survival of the fair notice defense, Ripple filed a SIR reply showing that the 75 cryptocurrency enforcement actions support Ripple's argument, not the SEC's. According to the analyst, Ripple's price will skyrocket once the lawsuit with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC is finalized. 
In an interview with Thinking Crypto he said that the fundamentals suggest that the XRP price could increase massively. Despite the perhaps less good technical indicators, Credible explains why he still has large amounts of the XRP token in his possession. According to him, it will be too late to buy XRP after the lawsuit's outcome. This is because the pending lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC could eventually clarify the regulation of the XRP digital token, which is hugely optimistic for the token. The reason I still own such a huge amount of XRP despite the slow price movement is that I now view it as a hedge against the rest of the market. If the SEC lawsuit ends, and I think it will soon, I don't know when. But I think it will ultimately end favorable for Ripple and XRP, and if it does, XRP will essentially be the only crypto with clear regulation for the United States. This is a super big asset to Ripple, so you can expect the price of XRP to skyrocket then. So if you wait for the outcome of the case to intervene, you are too late. So you bet now, and if your bet pays off and XRP wins, XRP will skyrocket. Recently, Ben Armstrong, a famous crypto trader with a YouTube following of 1.45 million and a Twitter following of 795 Kelvin, stated that Ripple's XRP digital token would make investors rich. It was striking that a Fox journalist recently commented that it is very unusual that the SEC did not see Ripple as security in 2018 but that they are now seen as a security by the SEC in the lawsuit. In contrast, Ripple has essentially not changed since 2018, so we still have to wait for the case settlement but XRP has at least been experiencing a wonderful increase in recent days. At the time this video is uploaded, the price of XRP today is 77 cents, with a 24-hour trading volume of $3,049,827,064. The current coin market cap ranking is number 6, with a live market cap of 37,399,561,364. It has a circulating supply of 47,949,281,138 XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. XRP price recently broke the bear market trend line on its 2 cents divided by 3 box reversal point and figure chart. That break occurred when XRP tagged the 92 cents price level, but it promptly sold off from there. Since converting into a bull market, the first pullback reached a low at 75 cents. XRP price was not immune to the selling pressure that affected nearly all risk on markets after last Thursday's US CPI data release. However, buyers stepped in and generated a new reversal column of excess, indicating continued bullish momentum for XRP price. This past Friday, a bullish entry pattern was developing that looked like a setup for a breakout above a triple top pattern. However, it was augmented slightly due to the current O column being the first reversal column after converting to a bull market. The entry, therefore, was on the three box reversal, not the breakout above the triple top pattern. The long theoretical opportunity for XRP price was a buy stop order at the three box reversal, which triggered 84 cents. That long theoretical entry is still valid as XRP is currently trading near 81 cents. The stop loss is 78 cents, with a profit target of $1.58. Profit taking will likely occur before the projected profit target, near a former dominant subjective trend line around the $1.15 value area. The long trade idea for XRP price is a 12, 33 to 1 reward, risk if the target is $1.58 and 5, 17 to 1 if the target is $1.15. Invalidation of this long opportunity would only occur if the current O column returned to bear market conditions which would happen if it moved to 62 cents. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on this? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.